Hey everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you've been watching the channel lately, you know that Unreal Engine 4.20 was just released, and along with that release, there was actually an action RPG sample uh, released along with it, and um, this missed my initial reporting uh, because it, it was missing, to be honest. I actually owe a big shout of gratitude out to user Enjo on the YouTube channel. So, E-N-J-O, I'll go with Enjo. Enjo was his name-o. Uh, anyways, he gave me this heads up that, why didn't you cover this? And I'm like, because, hell, I didn't know that it existed. Uh, so, they said, well, you know, it's right there into the Learn tab. So, I went into the Epic Game Launcher and, no, nope, well, not there. Uh, and I, I keep looking, it's still not there. Searching the marketplace, nope, still not there. And he provided me these nice links. And, well, yeah, actually, it is there if you use his links. And this is said link. And this is actually pretty important because there are so many people out there looking for examples for how to create role-playing games. Now, this is an action RPG, more along the lines of, say, uh, Darksiders or Diablo 3 in a microcosm. And it is mobile-focused. So this aims more towards being iOS or Android-type targeting. But all the same, there are not a lot of examples in this vein. So this guy is just awesome to hear about. And, you know, I'm pretty sad that I, I missed out on actually reporting this. So... Well, I'm making up for you. Here you go. This is we're going to take a look at this new action RPG sample from Epic Games, uh, showing what um, the Unreal Engine can do for mobile focused games. And here you can see here is their description. Again, this link will be down below, so don't pay too much attention to me. If you want to just fast forward a little bit and see this thing in action, you can. But in the meantime, what we're looking at here is an example of an action RPG showcasing uh, C++ and Blueprints working together, which is pretty cool, setting up um, and using certain aspects of Unreal 4's ability system, how to support multiple platforms like Android, iOS, PC, Mac, and consoles. And due to the complexity of Unreal Engine 4's ability system, action RPGs only utilize a small subset of available feature, uh, features. Uh, so basically that is what this demo is showcasing. So once you go ahead and actually use this link, if it's not showing up in the marketplace or the learn uh, section of the Epic Game Launcher, what it's supposed to, at least for me, it didn't. I just came in here, went to this particular link, did the download, logged in, and then I got it. By the way, it's about a gigabyte in size. And then once you open it up, here it is. And welcome to it. And it's, it's pretty. I will definitely in 100% give it credit for that. This is a very good looking example. Now it's not massive by any definition of the word, but the results are definitely good looking. And um, probably what's most impressive of all is this is actually just running on my laptop, sitting on my lap right now. And my laptop's built in GPU. I normally use an external GPU for more power. Right now I'm just running this on a 1050 uh, using Unreal Engine 4.20. And kind of probably the most impressive part is I normally use like a mat to put between, you know, my precious areas and my laptop so I don't get third degree burns. In this particular case, I don't actually need to. So again, this is a mobile focused project, but it isn't so GPU or CPU intensive that it's causing my leg to light on fire. And that is with video capture software going on in the background, etc. on a 1050 machine. So you know, that I, I definitely have to applaud them on that. They've done a really good job of, you know, making a usable demo. And here, let's actually look at what that demo is. So here you can see they're actually dem demonstrating their cutscene system. Um, so at any time, you can skip this is a scripted cutscene, so you have to look at how to do that. And then once the game actually goes ahead and starts up, there's a couple things going on here. You see here you've got kind of an in-app purchase kind of demonstration going there. You can use those in the inventory system. So you can come in here and buy skills. Uh, so meteor shower, fireball, firewall, etc. We can buy weapons. Now we have an inventory system. We can buy secondary weapons. We can buy tertiary weapons. And we can buy a potion to go with. So it's a pretty sophisticated system here. I'll, I'll put this on autoplay. Because in all honesty, uh, trying to run a mobile title on a Windows machine, it, it doesn't control them, if I'm honest here. But there is some pretty impressive stuff going on here. And I, I'm pretty much flabbergasted how good this demonstration is. And again, there aren't a lot of RPG-oriented demonstrations out there, and there are so many people screaming and crying out for them. This is pretty complete in what it does. Now, it doesn't go on for a whole lot more. It's basically a wave-based combat system. Eventually, you'll see two or three of the kind of monster types come through the system. Uh, but you did see we've got a touchscreen control over here. We saw an inventory system in action when we did this. Uh, then at the same time, we have a setting system here. We have a menu system here. Bring that up. 
We've got some nice animations going on. We saw earlier on we have the whole uh, cinema machine uh, transition stuff happening. Ooh, I hope I didn't just mix up with Alright, we'll pretend I didn't say it. Basically, there is a uh, animation or a cutscene system being demonstrated there. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And once again, what they said earlier on is this is both a demonstration of blueprints and um, C++ behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the uh, go here blueprints. We'll look at, for example, the, uh, the game controller. So here we go. There's the player controller. And here you see, you come in here, and you have the blueprint controlling the main character. The details behind the scenes, like so, everything going on. But at the same time, we also have a very comprehensive um, C++ system on the back end. So if you want to jump in, dig down in what they're dealing with, let's get rid of this welcome screen. See here, you've got your full source code for this example in C++. So there's your loading screen code. So, and then we dig down in here a little bit deeper. Uh, are we in action RPG? Okay, source, source, action RPG, public, and that's where the majority of your actual character code is. And again, a lot of this is the low level stuff and then the blueprints on the other end. So if we head on back over here, uh, we will see under blueprints, let's just shut you down so you're not off the screen. So, but we go to the blueprints, we will see there are all kinds of blueprints for the various different characters being controlled in our scene. So they've nicely demonstrated in this actual example how C++ can be on one end and blueprints can be in the other and how they can peacefully coexist. And if you come down here to the content browser, you will see there is a decent amount of content going on. Uh, so we've got uh, character, so we saw here with full animations, etc. Uh, let's go on back up one. Uh, we have a couple of different enemies such as, uh, where do my enemies go? Here we go. So we've got a spider and we've got the grunts that we saw in that demo. So we'll bring up a spider. So we've got guys like this guy. So there's some pretty impressive stuff going on in this demonstration. There's a lot in here. And again, there are a lot of people out there looking for an action RPG template to learn from. And this shows you so many of the different things you actually need to know. Again, there's an inventory system there, there's enemies there, there's hidden systems there, there's cinematics, there's touch screen, sorry, the um, intro screens, there's menus, etc. So there is a lot packed into this action RPG example. So that's why I'm sharing it. Again, for some reason, it's not showing up for me. So when I actually go to uh, the Epic Game Launcher, it isn't there. I had to actually use the link. Uh, and once again, one more shout out. Thank you uh, very much to Enjo for actually providing these links. And once again, those links will be down in the comments down below. It's impressive the amount of free content we're getting from uh, these game engines. Both Unreal and um, uh, Unity have been just nailing it out of the park. And uh, the stuff that we're, we're so spoiled for what we have here. And, and I guess that's where I leave it. Uh, I, you know, again, I just... Uh, this is one of those things that I think if you're out there and you want to write a book or you want to write assets or you want to make something available, the world is screaming out for RPG-based content. There are so many requests I get on an almost daily basis for, can you do a tutorial on RPGs or blah, 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 and I would love to, but basically that would take a full-time job for me to come up and create this stuff. So seeing this kind of content out there, I'm sure it's going to serve a lot of people. Even Maybe even if you're not even really interested in Unreal Engine, you still could get something out of this particular thing. And on that final topic, and this comes up every single time, uh, first off, Epic releases content packs all the time, which by the way, Epic, keep it up, that's awesome. But everyone always asks, well, can I use this in blah? No, no, you can't. It basically, you can use this in Unreal Engine or you can go to hell. That's kind of the license. So, uh, I agree with it. I understand where they're coming from. Basically, they're being very generous, but they're basically saying, yeah, this is Unreal only. So if you're wondering, license, can you grab the models from this and use them in your Unity project or your Godot project or your custom engine project or wherever? No, no, you really can't. This is 100% for Unreal Engine only. And, you know, let's be realistic. That's pretty fair. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's a, a new uh, action RPG template from Epic Games. It's pretty sweet stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. For Again, this one's on uh, the newest version, 4.20, which was just released uh, today, actually, or yesterday. I'm going to publish this tomorrow. 
So yeah, this was released yesterday as I publish this tomorrow. Uh, and it's available. This example runs on Windows, Mac, uh, or I guess it's Apple. I, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I'm just making a mess of this. It runs on Windows, Mac, uh, iOS, and Android. So just about every platform you could ever expect. And it covers so many things. So definitely one to check out. About a gigabyte in size. Completely free as long as you are an Unreal Engine user. Let me know what you think. All right, that's it. See you all later. Goodbye.